I'm here today at the North County Government Center in the office of our newly elected Hunter Mill District Supervisor Walter Alcorn. Supervisor Alcorn's first board matter, approved in January, was to commence a review of the rest and master plan. You may recall that early last year, both the Fairfax County Planning Commission and Board of Supervisors deferred a decision on a hotly debated Planned Residential Community, or PRC, zoning ordinance amendment. The community and county leaders did agree that it made the most sense to couple any discussion on the PRC zoning ordinance with a relook at the rest and master plan. Supervisor Alcorn's plan amendment has put in motion a rest and master plan task force made up of 24 community members and seven alternates with representation from many community organizations. Interestingly, Supervisor Alcorn is chairing the task force, which I believe is a testament to how seriously he is taking this effort. The task force kicked off its work on May 11th and will have meetings approximately every two weeks for about a year. This is an aggressive timeline and everyone interested in Reston's future should not only pay attention, but also participate in the meetings and dialogue. Until further notice, these meetings will be held virtually for everyone's safety, and all are hopeful that before too long, the community can gather to have old-fashioned face-to-face meetings. The county has set up a web page for the task force where background and future meeting information is available, as well as links to view the meetings that have already been conducted and live links to future meetings. The current plan was adopted in two phases in 2014 and 2015, and considerable change has already come to Reston. We now have a great opportunity to help shape Reston's future, and your participation is extremely important. Reston Association, which has representation on the task force, will be putting out updates on important aspects of the process and decision points that require greater community involvement. We hope to see you at one of the many upcoming meetings, so please stay informed and safe.